The Trump administration prepares to brief all 100 senators at the White House on Wednesday to discuss rising tensions with North Korea. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. With North Korea continuing to dominate the news, the Senate Armed Services Committee held a hearing to try to get a sense of how to handle what Chairman John McCain believes is a very unstable, dangerous situation. Sir, do you think that China has significant leverage with North Korea to change? I know they do. They could shut down their economy in two weeks. I am, I am gratified by it, but it needs, they need to do a lot more. The, let, let's face it, the dictator in Pyongyang is a very unstable individual, which makes this situation more dangerous than it was under his father and grandfather. More dangerous indeed, and it appears Georgia Senator David Perdue is in agreement on the dangers, but Perdue appears hopeful for change following President Trump's meeting with China's president. Look, this guy's got to be reined in, and I'm encouraged by the conversation that President Trump and President Xi had just a few weeks ago. Uh, I'm encouraged that China will step in and help us influence this guy and put controls on uh, material and support coming through China for him. Um, this guy is threatening not only South Korea, but Japan, and I believe, I believe it's going to be a, a threat eventually to stability in China. And most of the witnesses agreed on this point. China certainly appears to have some influence on North Korea, but it may use this influence at its discretion. Discretion not always in favor of the U.S., says Dr. Victor Chaw of the Center for Strategic and International Studies. China still subsidizes even if they cut coal, they still subsidize 85 percent of North Korea's external trade. Um, so China is definitely part of the solution in trying to stop uh, North Korea, but it's also part of the problem. Part of the problem and solution, which left a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense with some sobering advice for the senators. No, I don't think Kim Jong-un is going to voluntarily give up his nuclear weapons, even with significant Chinese pressure. I also agree that the Chinese aren't going to go as far as we need them to go. Where that leaves us is, is essentially what I said earlier, which is after increasing the pressure, running the China play, we do need to think carefully about whether or not we should proceed with a diplomatic effort to limit the program as best we can. Because I think we are going to face a very stark choice at some point in the future, probably in the next five years, about an ICBM, you know, reaching the United States. If the Senate hearing indicates anything, it is that it appears China is part of the answer to the North Korea problem. But questions remain about China's willingness to help the United States. John Hines, One American News, Washington.